Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind these rivets off because they're stainless steel. I can't drill them. I'm just going to grind them off so I can take that link out and then we'll attach some bits to here. We might have to re-drill a bigger hole and um, it'll make our chainsaw. Let's see how it goes. So now, we have our holes. Now we'll attach our loops, which are just um, key rings. There we go. That is pretty much it. All we need to do now is just add some paracord loops onto this so that you got, you know, enough of a handle that you can pull this back and forward and it'll cut. Alright, we'll go make them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have green and black paracord. I have three meters of each. It's probably more than what I need. But all I've done is I've just looped and tied it around there. And so what I'm going to do now is where my hand, the width of my hand, I'm going to come a little bit past that because that's what I want to hold on to. So it doesn't matter if I have a little bit more. I'm going to go from there. So we've got the ends of our paracord here, they've already been cut frayed, uh, cut and burned, so that's the length that I want it. Um, this is probably about the width that I do the bracelet, so three metres of paracord should be heaps enough to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold that in half, so we're going to bring it back up that way, fold that there, we're just going to take a piece of the black to put through there to temporarily hold it, and then from there We'll just start doing our cobra weave, if I can remember how to do it. So now we've got our first couple of knots, we're going to pull that black bit out, because we don't need that, and then we'll just continue from there. Okay, as you can see, we're almost at the end, so we'll just keep going to finish it off.
there you go, that's probably about as far as we'll go and all we need to do is just cut the ends and burn off so you can see kind of how much extra I do have, 3 metres is well clear enough and the thing is if you need to you can take that off and use it in a survival situation. So as you can see I've got a fair bit on my handle, a um, fair bit to work with because that is doubled over at the top there, it's a bit of extra strength there as well instead of just doing a single loop. So now we will start on the black side and um, I'll show you that when it's done. Okay, as you can see, I've finished my black one. Oops. Just realised they're at different lengths, but that's not going to matter. Um, I've cut and burned this one here, so that's ready to go. So we'll do the same on the black. Just leave a little bit on it when you cut it, probably about 5mm or so. Same on the other side. Now what I like to do is once I burn it, is just kind of dab the side of it to flatten it off. So it gives it a nice flat. So when you do that it flattens it out so it gives it a nice flat little area so that it can't pull back through. Or well, it makes it harder for it to if it wanted to pull back through. So as you can see now, we have our, our chainsaw that's made out of a chainsaw blade, our survival saw I should say. Um, now as we need to do is go test it out. And we'll just start cutting. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> 